Today I'm going to show you how to install and run a open source LLM like Dipsic R1 into your local machine the best and easiest possible way. So I have been trying different kind of LLM these days on my local machine and I almost tried all the approach like Olama, anything LLM and some other tool like Jen and I also tried the open web UI which actually requires you to install docker on your machine while all of those approaches are great I discovered that LM studio is the easiest yet the best approach as it supports all the features of other software like open web UI Jen and also Olama okay so let's see how we can install DeepSeek R1 on my local machine one important thing is hugging face is the website for LLM. So GitHub is a place for repositories of code and Hugging Face is similar kind of thing for LLM. Okay, so DeepSeek made their LLM open source here on Hugging Face. So all the releases will be available here in the future. So a better LLM comes from any company like Microsoft or Google or Facebook or DeepSeek, it will be available here in this website. If you want to install the original version of DeepSeek, which is based on 700 billion parameter, consumer grade PC will not support that. So here I'm running on RTX 3060. If you have an NVIDIA 3000 series GPU or equivalent one, you can try around 7 billion to 15 billion parameter models. If, you're, uh, if you do not have any GPU or GPU is comparatively lower spec then you can try the LLM that are smaller than 7 billion param so first of all I'm going to LLM studio I'm downloading this software which one is appropriate for me so for my windows I'm downloading this one by clicking here it is very straightforward to download and install I think I have already downloaded it so let's see LLM studio is already downloaded here so I'm installing it So once the installation is done, I'm opening it to install a new LLM. You can either search it here or you can directly go to the original website Hacking Face and search for that. So this is the official repository for DeepSeek on Hacking Face. And here, since my PC is consumer grade, I will definitely run a distilled model. So let's see what are my available options. So I'm going to DeepSeek R1 first. And here I found the distilled model, which is for consumer grade CPUs. And I can either copy, let's say I want to install this one. Okay. So I'll copy the link of this model by clicking on this hugging face URL and copy link address. And I'll go to open LLM. It is appearing that it is already downloaded. And here the button is use in chat. Okay. So this is how you can find any future release of LLM. And if any better model arrives after DeepSeek R1, you can also download that and try locally. Okay, so model installation is done. Now let's close this and click on chat and start a new chat. So let's see how it does. I'm selecting the downloaded model. If I, are, if I download multiple model, that will be shown here. So now the model is selected. It is asking me for some GPU offload. GPU offload is full. So if you have GPU, it will be utilized. And CPU thread pool size is four. I'm using the default setting and clicking on load model and it is loading the model now if the model is loaded and i type a message as i can see it is responding uh, we can see the thought process of this llm so you can expand it if you want you can collapse it if you don't want to see the details just want to see the message okay so this is very fast it is 1.5 billion parameter around one gigabyte size if you click on here and if you want to integrate the LLM into your application, then instead of using this GUI tool, you can go to terminal like this and type LMS. Okay. So after typing LMS, as I can see, it is showing the command prompt. And here I can start the server from GUI here by clicking on this start. So if I start a server, then those APIs will be enabled. So I can develop an application which can uh, request a response with a question with these APIs. Okay, so those APIs are uh, following the standard of OpenAI for the API stand specification of ChatGPT or uh, alike. That is one advantage of using LM Studio. And if you do not want to use GUI version, you can after installing you can just go to your command prompt. If you want to see the models you have downloaded, you can type LMS LS. So it have both command prompt and GUI version which is great for beginners so this is how you can install and use any local LLM like DeepSeek R1 or anyone uh, anything which appears in the future let me know what you think about this and I'll see you in the next tutorial happy coding